The U.S. beat and make Beijing pariah state in South China Sea War. A war in the South China Sea caused by the Chinese invasion of Taiwan would make Beijing a pariah state and probably trigger an armed conflict with the U.S., a China expert and political scientist said. On Friday politicians from Taiwan's ruling political party are set to meet their Japanese counterparts for a top-level meeting aimed at what they claim is Beijing's threatening behavior in the region. China views self-governing island nation Taiwan as a breakaway province that will one day be reunified with the mainland. Last week Beijing conducted military drills off the country to the north of the South China Sea in response to what it called external interference and provocations. China's activities near Taiwan and in the wider South China Sea have angered the U.S., which is allied with several countries in the region. A China specialist and political scientist at the University of Nottingham, about the potential for war if China invades Taiwan. He said, if that were to happen, it would result in significant and long-lasting disruption on a global scale. It would reconfigure international relations, lead to an ugly occupation of Taiwan and make China a pariah state. Depending on the circumstances that led to a hypothetical invasion, it would probably lead to militarized conflict involving the world's two superpowers. The communist regime is obviously heavily invested in recovering Taiwan, but it also acknowledges the above risks and so is unlikely to invade unless it feels there is no other option to prevent Taiwan independence. From last year into 2021, Taiwan has reported repeated incursions by Chinese aircraft into its air defense identification zone. Washington has condemned such activity previously, and this week U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris hit out at China again. Speaking in Singapore, she said, Beijing continues to coerce, to intimidate and to make claims to the vast majority of the South China Sea. Dr. Sullivan explained that although Chinese-American ties may have soured and Beijing is engaging in war games, a conflict remains unlikely. He added, in recent years it has ratcheted up the pressure on Taiwan and bellicose rhetoric. It is busily readying itself through military modernization to be in a position to credibly take Taiwan. The military balance has shifted, but it is still not yet a slam dunk, and thus we are not yet at a point where an invasion is remotely likely. If only because China has many other levers it can use to increase Taiwan's discomfort that falls short of invasion. Neither is it on the cards that Taiwan will declare independence. But the underlying danger that a clash over Taiwan could precipitate open warfare between the US and China is always there, and so this question always provokes interest. The US has a long held a position of so-called strategic ambiguity over the situation between Taiwan and China. This means Washington recognizes only one Chinese government under its One China policy, although it does maintain unofficial relations with Taiwan. A spokesperson for Joe Biden clarified the position last week after the U.S. president said the U.S. would respond if Taiwan was invaded. An official later said the U.S. policy with regard to Taiwan has not changed prompting observers to conclude that Mr. Biden had misspoken.
Meanwhile, China has accused the USA of breaking its own rules in Afghanistan after Kamala Harris stressed the importance of China sticking to a rules-based order. Speaking on Tuesday, Wang Wenbin, the spokesman for China's Ministry of Foreign Affairs said the USA was responsible for the suffering of the Afghan people through their military intervention in the country. He went on to brand the U.S. of breaking the rules they make before claiming the USA have behaved wantonly in Afghanistan. His strict warning follows comments made by Kamala Harris where she declared grave concerns over China's behavior in the South China Sea. Mr. Wenbin Slam the current events in Afghanistan clearly tell us what the rules and order the U.S. speaks of are. The U.S. can wantonly conduct military intervention in a sovereign country. The comments come as U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris slammed China for their multiple claims and dangerous activity in asserting their dominance in the South China Sea. Appearing at a press conference in Singapore on Tuesday, Kamala Harris stressed how the USA's allies in the region will stand up to China. Harris said, Beijing's actions continue to undermine the rules-based order and threaten the sovereignty of nations. The United States stands with the US allies and partners in the face of these threats.